Hey, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's open video, we're going to be talking about the Ferox. So, as you guys might know, the Ferox is one of those quote-unquote unique weapons. So, the Ferox came out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One a couple of days ago with the latest update and everything like that. So, today, I thought I would make a video talking about the Ferox and giving you guys my budget build on the Ferox and how the Ferox works, how it does, how it performs, is it good, is it bad, and talking about basically everything like that. So basically, if you guys want to get the Ferox, you can either buy it for Platinum, which comes with an Orkin Catalyst and a slot, of course, or you can you can just go ahead and go to your Tenno, uh, go to the Energy Lab, which is the Corpus, I believe, yeah. Go to the Corpus Lab and buy the Blueprint so you can build uh, the, the Ferox. And yeah, basically, that's about it. So first of all, I'm gonna be showing you guys my build, then I'm gonna be giving you giving you guys the test, which I basically go to the simulacrum and test the weapon out and everything. And I know this video is like uh, like a lot late, so I'm really sorry about that. I was having some problems with my network and everything. So yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm just really sorry about this, okay? And yeah, I know I said that say that every time, but here's my build. So point strike, infected clip, strombinger, uh, serration, split chamber, and malignant malignant force. I just cannot say that fucking name. Jeez. Uh, okay, so point strike, of course, for some critical chance. Infect, inflected, infected clip. I, I mess up every single name so badly. Infected clip, Stormbringer, Seteration. Of course, as my elemental damage, I went with Corrosive. And why wouldn't you go with Corrosive? It's like a fucking... Like, it has electric as its base damage. Ja damage. So adding corrosive, adding corrosive would be a no-brainer and split chamber, of course, to multiply the damage and everything. So as you can see, two of the slots are empty, okay? And I'm gonna be explaining that in a bit. So let's talk about the fire mode of this weapon. Since it's a spear gun, quote unquote spear gun, you can you can shoot it, of course, like this. It, it's like it has a charge attack. You have to hold it and then shoot it. Yeah, basically that's how the normal thing works. This is how you uh, how you're going to be using this thing normally and it has 10 you can shoot it 10 times basically and of course you can throw it like the javelock and good thing about this weapon is that this does no self damage, okay? That's the best part. It does it does no self damage, so you can throw it in yourself and you won't get killed basically but when you throw it in slow-mo move it, it looks really really fucking cool so so yeah that those are the two fire modes of the weapon also there's a special ability of the weapon that i really want to talk about and it, 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 it's not that bad okay so if you throw it it will like it will bring the enemies closer like a magnet and it will start to deal damage to them so as you can see i throw that i was invisible with loki and i throw my like my spear at them and the enemies just got close and it was like dealing damage to them like it was bringing every single one of them closer and everything so yeah basically that's the special ability of the weapon now let's start let's just test this out with the level 65 heavy gunner with the base 75 crit chance there is no reason why you shouldn't go with crit with this weapon okay you should definitely go with crit with this weapon and as you can see it took out the level 65 heavy gunner pretty easily like two shots on the head or even if you hell even if you shoot it at any part of the uh, like heavy gunner's body it will take him out pretty easily cuz that cuz that crit is too fucking good but one thing about this weapon is that <laughs> The damage just it just falls off when you shoot at any other part of the body above level 80, okay? It will not proc corrosive at the first hit. It will just not do that because the weapon has a really low status chance and everything and the damage just kind of falls off. So this weapon is really not perfect for end game unless you can hit the headshots or unless you put like fucking seven formas in it or something. Or I don't think it would be even close to fucking perfect if you put even that much effort into this weapon so basically this is one of those weapons that you're not gonna be using that much you're gonna be using this thing for fun shits and giggles or crowd control because that because that special ability is really good and everything and this weapon does work with level 65 bombards 
and but when you like go up like level 90 that's when the shit shit gets bad okay you it, the damage just completely falls off if you if you shoot at any other part of the enemy's body and everything and key do keep in mind that this is a budget build basically install a orc and catalyst to double your mod capacity and everything and yeah this has zero formas so don't expect much from this build but i'm pretty sure that you can take out most 100 or 65 enemies with this type of build because that crit is too good and to show you guys i loaded up like uh 20 level uh, 105 butchers to see how the things work and it did take them out pretty easily i mean these are just butchers for shit's sake you can take them out with a fucking like low ass weapon and shit and everything like that but yeah that's you yeah, that basically yeah that's how it works usually and uh, I, like I said, this is not one of those weapons that you're going to be using all the time. And if you're if you're like if you're good at hitting headshots, basically, this weapon is for you. Trust me, I, I'll give up and just say that this weapon is just fucking perfect for you. Because if you can hit headshots, you're gonna be doing like a lot of damage with each headshot and everything like that. But how does the weapon? perform in the actual battlefield okay like that was the fucking similar term anyone can do good in that and everything well i i'm i'm kind of happy to say that this is significantly quote unquote significantly better than the fucking javelock because they let's be honest okay let's be fucking honest here the javelock was a complete and utter fucking disaster when it first came out i really didn't like the javelock but this however on the other hand this is much more better you can combine it combine it with nidus's uh, like, uh, like what the like, fucking what you call it? Not larva alien baby ability. You can combine it with that, and you can do like massive amounts of damage and everything. So yeah, I can say that this weapon really is better than the javelock, but it is not a weapon that you're gonna be using all the time because the fucking fire rate is too low and the reload sometimes can get you killed and who the fuck is gonna aim at their heads all the fucking time let's be honest about that here so th basically that's why i really wouldn't suggest uh, using this weapon but don't get me wrong it really is one of well like it, it's a really powerful weapon come on 75 percent critical chance and it has like a 35 percent critical chance at base so there's no reason like i said why you shouldn't go with the crit build but i would really suggest a fire rate build a fire rate mod on the on those uh two free slots if you want to add a forma because the fire rate really would help you guys out with this weapon because the fire rate is just really fucking low and it just pisses me the fuck off sometimes and the reload is just sometimes it's just slow okay and yeah that's that that's what pisses me off and everything but overall i can say this weapon is really fun you can hit long range targets with this weapon and it really is fun hitting long range targets with this weapon so yeah if you want to take like take out like long quote unquote long long range targets and so yeah you can use this and you can mo mostly one shot uh, level 65 uh, type of enemies and everything so yeah that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton and yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one peace hope you all have a great day